I think he uh, he shows a lot of emotion. I listen to a lot of his songs while I'm on plane trips and I hear a lot of emotion in his voice, which is always what like attracts me to songs. I wouldn't choose Post Malone for making music because I can, but I would choose him for, for a date. For a date? I'm pretty, Just a try. I think there's a lot of women that would say this. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, I guess so. Tego pana bardzo dobrze znacie z TikToka i z takiego hitu jak Astronaut in the Ocean, który ciągle możecie usłyszeć na antenie radioska. I się bardzo cieszę, że nam się udało spotkać. Hi, it's nice to see you. You too, pleasure to meet you. I was very pleased to hear you a lot of on Radio Eska and actually on Polish internet because it's like boomed. So, do you like TikTok? It's a tricky question. It's not a tricky question. I love TikTok. Uh, it, ma it made uh, Astronaut in the Ocean a lot bigger. And uh, Ashton on the Ocean is the reason I'm here, so I cannot hate on TikTok. It's quite surprising that after two years, after first releasing Al Astronauts in the Ocean, yeah. in 2021, it just started to grow up so much that it became a great hit of yours. Yeah, I think COVID helped, which is a, a bittersweet thing to say, but a lot of people were stuck at home and they were either depressed or not happy with being stuck at home. And Astronaut in the Ocean has that, I talk about, you know, not being happy with life. And I think that resonated with a lot of people. And some people don't even know that's what it's about. So it's half, half. Yeah, I asked about it with my friends from work because a lot of people, my colleagues told this is the great song. And I asked them, and do you know what it's about? This is a very sad one because it's no, no, we didn't know about it. And I tried to explain to them what does it mean? Because for me, this is very important lyrics. Yeah, I mean, uh, I always say, you know, you're going to have that one person that goes for the weekend drive and then never going to understand what Astronaut on the Ocean is about. They just like the beat, they like the vibe, which is fine. That's what music is sometimes. And then I think a lot of people went back and listened to it again and again and again once they found out what the lyrics were about and they're like, oh, what? wow, I didn't think this type of vibe would have this type of meaning. So, yeah. I guess in your songs the lyrics are very important, but it's not quite common in the popular music right now, mainstream music. I think in rap it's not as popular anymore, which is uh, a bit a bit sad in a way. Like I think uh, if you talk about rappers or artists like Juice World, Triple X Temptation, um, they were very like open chested artists. You know, NF is a rapper that speaks a lot about what he, what's on his mind. And I mean, it's just at the end of the day, you, when you're behind the microphone and you're the artist, you get to speak what you want to speak about. You know, no one, you, you can't be forced. It's your decision. And uh, for me, it's just, uh, if I have a chance to be behind a microphone, I want to speak about something that hits, you know, my, my heart or it, it can hit someone else's heart. So, yeah. But I guess this is something that we as a listener search in for in music. The truth, like yeah. being reliable and telling the truth to the listeners. Some others are not looking for the truth. Some others are just looking to finish work on Friday and put a song on that has a really hype beat and they can just have a drink and just jam out. And uh, that's, what, that's why every music, you know, it has its genre, it has its place and it has its day and time. So. And do you have any chance to listen to any Polish rappers? No. I feel like uh, there, there would be some really cool Polish rappers. Right, they text in Polish, so it could be hard to translate, unfortunately, I guess. Um, I think, like, even like when I go to other European countries, there's always a culture, there's always a style that fits well. And uh, I can imagine that the Polish culture for rap would be quite cool and swaggy. In Poland right now we are in the point that the hip-hop and rap is quite rebirth after being decreased somehow. How is it from your perspective in the worldwide music industry and rap industry? Um, hmm, it's a good question. I think we're very lucky to have Kendrick Lamar come onto the scene, to be honest. Uh, I think he balanced the industry out when it was like in that mumble rap phase, which is not a bad phase, but I mean, he just leveled it out. Um, I mean, for me, it's always been like the G unit, Tupac, Biggie, Eminem, you know, when he first came out, that they, they were the days of rap. I think we'll always like note that to be like the era of rap that was real defiant. But at the moment, I think 
the more that social media grows and the more that social apps come along, the more we are going to find new genres, new waves, artists that just talk about the same stuff and it's just a big hype beat and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. So, I don't know, that's my view. And who is on your bucket list if we are talking about cooperation with other rapper? If, if there will be a chance to make yeah. a song with Eminem or artist? Or artist? It, your choice. Easy. Uh, this is an easy question. Yeah. Post Malone oh. Oh. and uh, Billie Eilish. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I, the Post Malone is, is very coherent with you, I would yeah. say. I really like Post Malone. So if he ever sees this, just know it's my. It would be my dream to be in there, just because I don't think he takes life uh, serious. He's not that type of guy to backlash, and I think he uh, he shows a lot of emotion. I listen to a lot of his songs while I'm on plane trips, and I hear a lot of emotion in his voice, which is always what like attracts me to songs. I wouldn't choose Paul Malone for making music because I can, but I would choose him for for a date. For a date. I'm Just a try. I think there's a lot of women that would say this. Yeah, thing. yeah. Unfortunately, I guess so. And Billie Eilish, this is quite. It, it's good choice, I guess. I mean, she's very talented, and you can't really compare her to anyone else. You can't say, oh, she's like Billie Eilish. And if you can, that person is most probably copying Billie Eilish. So she's in her own lane, and I think she's um, she's very. She's got her head on her shoulders very well. I usually like don't like doing things with artists that. Are a bit all over the place in that in that type of way. What would be your your advice for everyone that are listening and watching us right now and thinking I will be like Masked Wolf in some time? So what should I do to be in that place and to make such kind of music? Um, I would say not to try and be like any other artist. Don't say I'm going to have the sound of Post Malone. I hear a lot of artists lately trying to sound like Kid Leroy, and it's just a bit of a turn off it's like you're not going to really get found by being someone else you have to sound unique i always use the analogy if you have you know 10 or nine black boxes and one pink box your eye is going to look at the pink box straight away and if you have you know nine white boxes and one blue box you're going to look at the blue box straight away and that's how it should be with music and anything um, if you stand out and your sound is different then people are going to want to listen to you so that's what i've always gone by Easy to say, hard to do, I guess. Yeah, yeah. What are your plans for the rest of 2022? Uh, be, be, beside the fact that you are going home finally after almost three uh, months tour. Yeah, um, for me, I'm going into like album mode. So I'll recover from jet lag. Um, I get back and then basically start writing the album. Would you like to know the album name? Yeah, of course. Can I know? Do you have $100? No, I'm Jay. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's called In the Realm of Giants. In the Realm of Giants? In the Realm of Giants. Yeah. Okay, so uh, is there any date Anything? releasing? Uh, no, no date. I'm hoping Q1 or Q2 of next year. Q1. This is the day we will keep. Q1. Yeah. Look right. forward. February. February. A few questions later I will get a certain date. Like it will be maybe 20 February. You know why? Because this is my birthday. Mine's the 12th. Yours on 12th? So maybe in the middle of that, like, I don't know, 16th of February, it will be a I'm gift not, for you and me. I'm not going to say any dates because I keep my word. Okay, but we, you can check it on the social media of uh, Must Wolf and then we'll find out whose gift will it be. Yes, most probably mine. Probably mine. Okay, so it will be like 12th February, you know that for sure. This will be the, your new album. Whatever you say. Yes. <laughs> Put the blame on me after that. Thank you very much. I keep my finger crossed for all the projects of yours. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You too.